Hey everybody, welcome to the Worship Catalyst update for November 2023. All right, here's the deal. I just got one or two things to talk about super fast and then we're gonna get you to meet one of our connectors uh, in Ohio. So before we get to that, I wanted to ask you to do something. So uh, two or three months ago, we started to really do a social media blitz, which we've never really done before, but we really want to reach more and more and more and more and more worship leaders everywhere in the world. And social media, as you know, is everywhere in the world. And so we wanna try to help them. We wanna try to help them get better at what they do. And so we've been putting training videos out almost every day, Monday through Friday for the last two and a half months. And our engagement has gone really sky high on that compared to where we were. We've added about 6,000 followers on Facebook and, and, and some on Instagram. Uh, that's really great. We've added, uh, like every 30 days, we have over 100,000 kind of impressions or views of the videos we do. And over 10,000 of those people engage in some way through liking or you know commenting or whatever. And, and some of the conversations we're having are really helpful. I mean, they're sharing, there are a lot of worship leaders are sharing with their teams and sharing with other worship leaders and all of that. And, and we also have some atheists on there and some other people who you know think they're much smarter than we are. And so we've been trying to make a difference uh, in their lives. But here's what I wanna ask you. I wanna ask you to engage. Just go follow us at Worship Catalyst on Facebook or Instagram, whichever one is your favorite. And then um, just like the videos that come up there, or it'd be even better if you comment. If you see somebody write something, comment back, you know, whatever it is, just spend, you know, spend a couple of minutes a week just going through and, and uh, you know, engaging on that. And I think that would help reach even more worship leaders, even forward, even share uh, from your accounts. So thanks for doing that. The second thing I want to talk about is this, and that is that uh, last week, Cammie and I went to uh, three different cities in Ohio where we have hubs, as well as uh, we went to Buffalo, just to go and encourage and to honor and to do some strategizing with our connectors there. And so um, over the next couple of months, we're gonna have you meet some of these guys. And uh, this first one is uh, our connector in Columbus, and you're just gonna absolutely love him. Uh, maybe you've seen him on a video before, but Cammie's there to interview him, and uh, then I'll be back in just a second. Hey guys, I am so excited to be with you today. I am in Columbus, Ohio, and we are here and have been this week visiting with Joe Kibbe, our connector for Worship Catalyst of our hub here in Columbus. He is a pastor at Living Hope Church, and I'm standing in this huge warehouse, and they have like the most incredible ministry of helping um, refugees and immigrants that are coming into our country that don't have furniture. And they're like, they're here, they don't even have work yet, and they're given a place to live and, and literally need a bed and a place to sleep. And this church has provided an entire ministry now um, to these people. And so that's where I am. But Joe's here also. I want to introduce you to him. We're so excited. Um, Joe, we just want to know, like, what are you most excited about with Worship Catalyst and what God's doing and um, what's going on? Tell us something about that. I think the most exciting thing for me is that years ago, I was the burnout worship leader that was ready to give up, ready to quit, didn't know what to do. And then someone came alongside me and they taught me that, hey, it doesn't have to be this way. There's there's things you can do. And they, they took the passion that I already had for God's word through the song and taught me how to actually build a team, how to work with the church, how to serve a church in the most effective way. And so what excites me about Worship Catalyst is I get to then do that with someone else. I get to help that person who's on the verge of quitting because they don't know what mm -hmm. to do. And the thing of it is, is we don't always know what to do, but t chances are someone else does. And if we're willing to just listen to them and willing to take their advice, we can all learn from each other. And so I'm excited for the opportunity to just serve alongside these people and hopefully prevent that burnout and prevent that, you know, wanting to quit and instead get people fired up for it. That's awesome. Excellent. We met Joe probably like four years ago, Austin and I did at a luncheon here in Columbus, and he had a Dallas Cowboy hat on, which helped. Um, <laughs> but he did, he shared his story with us that day, and it was like an immediate connection with him. We knew, hey, this is someone that God's already working in and through, and we were like super pumped that he chose to work with Worship Catalyst, and still does. And so we just wanted him to meet you, and we're glad that you got the chance. So thanks for being here. Man, I told you you'd love Joe. Man, he has a, got a great heart to just serve worship leaders and teams and to help them get better. And he's helped so many over the last couple of years. So um, anyway, every time you give 
uh, financially, every time you pray, you're making ministry like that happen in the lives of um, worship leaders, in the lives of pastors, in the lives of people just sitting in chairs in church services, being connected with God and uh, their lives uh, be being more enriched by Christ. And so thank you for all that you do. Please continue uh, to lift us up. We need it as God opens more and more doors. So we will see you next month. Until then, have an awesome Thanksgiving. <laughs>